simple Tell me, tell me all the shit we've been through Nothing new could mean as much as we do Hey guys, it's Vanessa and today I'm doing a chit chat get ready with me I ended up going for this bronzy summer makeup look But going into it, I really had no idea what I was doing I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it I already did my hair as you can see So I'm just gonna pin it out of the way Just so that it's not gonna in my face while I'm doing my makeup. As you can see, I left my hairs kind of in this ringlet form and I'm gonna brush them out later. I just really like them to set in this and then kind of hairspray them and all of that and then brush through them while they're cool so that it kind of like locks in that kind of curl and they won't go flat. That's what I've found helps my curls just because I have thinner hair. I learned so much from you guys from my last cruelty free makeup video that I went out and got some new products. I am still trying to use up my Origins face moisturizer. I'm kind of going through this pretty quickly, so I'll have to find a new moisturizer soon. I am going in with a new product. I picked up the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer and it looks like this and it's super cute. It is more silicone-y, um, but I think... It works really well around my nose area. Also, can we just mention how cute this little top is? It is actually a romper, and you guys are gonna see it in either next week's video or the week after that. I did get sent some stuff from GS Loves Me. I can't wait to tell you all about all the clothing that I've got, but look forward to that because it's coming up. Still looking for a good concealer, so I'm just gonna use up this Maybelline Age Rewind. And then you wanna create some tribal shapes on your face. I have a face demon right there that I'm gonna cover up. I look so white in the viewfinder. <laughs> Promise it's not that crazy in real life. Just gonna point that out. <laughs> like, the studio light really makes it amplified, um, so just if you're wondering. And I'm just gonna blend that in. So since my last video, I have been testing out the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1, and I really, really like it. It is so full coverage, it's ridiculous. And I also use the Manic Panic uh, Dream Tone Flawless Foundation and Color Corrector. So both of these are amazing. If you haven't tried them, I recommend, highly recommend that onto my hand. And you really don't need like a ton. You have to mix it with like almost two pumps of this because I'm so fair. I have been getting like a little bit darker because the sun is like beating down on me while I'm at school. But I'm still not, still not that tan you guys. <laughs> I was thinking how I wanted to do a light look today and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do something neutral. And then I started thinking about how much I wanted to use glitter and like pigments. That's not, that's not light, Vanessa. Just, just pointing that out. But I do want to do like a summer look. Honestly, you can wear this look whenever the hell you want. I don't think seasons should dictate what you wear on your face. To set my under eye, I am going in with the e.l.f. contour kit. This is so good, you guys. I'm really impressed by it. So I am going in with this more banana shade. Definitely check this out if you have a chance and I'm just going to make sure there's no creases before I go in and then I've also found that I'm really oily around my nostrils and it starts to have like this melted kind of look if I'm not careful because I am oily and this is a really good mattifying, like almost translucent look on my skin tone. So if you're a similar skin tone, I think this would work really well for you. One of you guys mentioned to check out the Essence brand, and I am going to do that, but I'm just trying to use up my Rimmel Stay Matte first. I think they have that brand at my local CVS, so I'm definitely going to check it out. Thank you so much for recommending it. To contour or just kind of bronze my face, I am going back in with this e.l.f. contour palette. I'm going in with the darkest shade, actually. And I kind of only take it on the side of my brush, and then... Just kind of bring it into the face like that from the top of my ear. 
that's what I kind of like the look of. And I do this pretty light, as you can see. And then I go in circular motions. This is kind of like how I was taught, so... Take this lighter shade right here and just kind of go over top of that as a bronzer to just really give some warmth to my face and then also my forehead. I feel like it looks better if I use a lighter color. And this one I can just be a little bit all over the place with. And I take a little bit on the sides of my nose. I haven't really used this a ton, but I do have the Revolution Makeup Blush Palette, and it's super pretty, so I should use it. I'm kind of feeling this, like, coral kind of color right here. And they, su they are super powdery, so you just need, like, a little bit. Oh my goodness, I just looked at myself and I was like, why does my forehead look so weird? I must have, like... Wow, don't pay attention to that. That was like really bad of me to not blend that out. Kind of embarrassed, not gonna lie. I'm gonna try out this silvery highlight and see how I like it, but knowing me, I'll want the extra glow. So I'll probably be doing two highlighters because girl, if it's summer, you can glow, okay? pretty. I like that. And then I like to do above my eyebrow for some reason. But I want something more intense. In with the Carly Bible palette. This is my favorite thing of life, you guys. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite shade. This just makes you glow so much. It's ridiculous. Like, uh-huh. Yes. Yes, honey. Yes. I mean, come on. I am obsessed with makeup and it really has become my hobby lately. So that's why I just take all of these like steps, but yourself, just do whatever feels comfortable. I feel like a lot of the times everybody's all like, make yourself look perfect. Make sure that you have perfect flawless skin and make your eyelashes look so extreme and voluminous. And it's like, Yes, I absolutely love that, but if you're not comfortable with that, then don't do it. Like, honestly, do whatever makes you happy. So I don't mean to, like, feel preachy on you guys or anything like that, but honestly, I feel like there's such a stress, especially from the media, to look a certain way, and I just want you guys to be happy and not worry about how you look. Honestly, I personally love the idea of doing makeup. I feel like it is a different form of art and your face is like a canvas and I think it is so amazing and yes, I do feel confident when I wear makeup, but I also feel confident when I'm not wearing makeup. I just still can't get over that highlight, like, hi, just serving you face. Just going in with a finishing spray. This is by NYX, but I do want to check out the Wet n Wild one. If you guys have used that, tell me what you think about it before I go and purchase it. I think I'm just going to go with like a simple bronzy eye because I have this little elf trio and it is the cutest thing of life. I did get it because of Simply Kenya. Um, she does like YouTube and fashion and beauty videos. She is so cute. Oh my goodness. I'll have her link down below. Go check her out. I'm obsessed. She uses this white shimmery color as like a highlight and an inner corner and it just looks so good on her so I had to pick it up. And I'm going to prime my eyelids. I'm just going to go in with this light color. This light brown color in my crease. I'm gonna blend out any harsh edges with this clean brush. Take a flat shader brush and go in with this bronzy color. And I think I'm just gonna use that on like my lid. I know this is a little bit jank but I'm gonna pull you in just so that you guys can see what I'm doing because I I was doing it and then I was like, holy crap, they probably have no idea what I'm doing. It is such a pretty bronzy shade. 
I'm really digging it. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and just pack this all over. And with this dark brown shade, just on the outer V of my eye. It's really messy, so we're gonna blend it out. Blending really solves everything, you guys. I'm also going to take this light white color on my brow bone as well. I'm going to go with either one of these mascaras. Both of these were $1 and I picked them up on shopmissa.com and this one smells amazing because it's mixed with aloe vera and it's called the Clean Color Framus Lash. So that's what it looks like. Um, the wand is really intense so it kind of gets everywhere so unfortunately I don't really like it that much. It smells like Jolly Ranchers and they both stay pretty well and this is just called the Amuse Volume Mascara and that's what it looks like if you want to check it out on the website. It has a more dense wand and it's a little bit easier to work with. So that is what the mascara looks like. Not really feeling the whole matte look today. I kind of want to go for something a little bit more glossy. So I have this Lip Lava from Makeup Revolution. For some reason it doesn't have the name on it, but it's just this brown nude kind of shade. So I'm just going to try that out. going to take my hair down. And then brush it out. To achieve this hair, if you're wondering, I used a one inch wand. That's how I get this kind of like wave going on, is I curl it all in the same direction on either side of my face. A lot of people like to do away from their face and I kind of recommend that just for like the pieces that frame your face. I think it looks a lot better. That is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for leaving all of the product recommendations in my last video. If you have any more, feel free to leave them in the comments and down below. Check out my social media if you haven't already. I have Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all that stuff is Vanessa is a wolf. And then I also have a Vinted Closet. It is Vanessa.Manly96. So if you want to check out some pieces that I'm selling, feel free to head on over there. I love you guys so much and until next time, bye! Hey guys, it's Vanessa and today I am doing a Q&A 